been working on the boat and after doing some testing we found that the alternator is bad and this is not going to work as our old sending unit on the boat. It oh, slightly <clears throat> it slightly leaks so it was great to uh, to do the old priming, see that video, but it's not. So we have a new pipe. And we're gonna go over where we got this from and uh, where to install it on this engine. We have to have this pipe for the sending unit to be, uh, to be far enough away from the engine so you can actually install it. Yeah, the sending unit probably looks like it's expired, but we hope it works. I think we should just like clean up the rust on it. Maybe it'll be fun, right? Just clean the rust off. Yeah, clean the rust makes everything work. It'll work fine. So we're gonna get into that, and also don't forget to subscribe and like our video. And y'all wait through this intro, and we'll get right into printing and sending. So as you can see, we have a brand new alternator installed. I've left the Amazon link below, but this is a perfect fit for the Merc uh, Mercury 3 liter, and it also fits some of the other ones with a your bracket here, you have your bracket below right there, and then you have your four point wiring below. Perfect fit. And now we're going to show where the oil pressure gauge goes. So we dive in here. There is the hole. Now let's see if I can leave the camera here. Okay, you see the hole. Now we're going to put the, the jigs. Extension we got in the hole. <coughs> So I couldn't get the uh, oil sending unit in with that extension on, but I did get the extension on and I ratcheted it in with a half inch ratchet. And now I'm gonna put the sending unit in. Maybe it's cause all this wiring I have over here. But the sending unit's going in nicely. And then if I need to, cause it won't tighten up all the way so I'm gonna put a uh, half inch wrench and I'm gonna put a crescent wrench on this side to tighten it up. Okay the old sending unit is installed I've tightened it down and we put the wire on it so let's start it and see if we have oil pressure The oil pressure sitting here doesn't work. Okay, so we have no oil pressure. So, got a new oil pressure gauge. Looks much better than this one. This one's really rusted. Hopefully it works though, because we want to send oil pressure up there. We know it's not uh, the line needing to be bled, because it's electronic. It's not a mechanical oil pressure gauge. Also, we, uh, we crafted this tube to go from our breather to our intake off our PVC valve because we didn't have one. I have rubber hose so yeah it's kind of ghetto but it works. Then we noticed when we were looking we didn't have a fuel filter on this engine so we picked up a fuel filter and I'll put it in line right before the uh, carburetor. The good thing is is this thing is clear so we'll be able to see, you know, if we're out of gas, because we don't have a gas gauge right now. So if this is empty, we know we're gonna have to be paddling. Okay, 
that's as far as hand tie is going to get me. So we put our wire back on, we have a washer in place, and now we're going to put our screw back in place. Oh wow. And it came with all this. Okay, so seeing you get installed, wired up, have our fuel filter primed, and uh, we're still getting some cutouts. But let's take in and see what it looks like with the oil pressure. Okay, so I don't have water running through this, so I'm not going to run it very long. But here goes. <laughs> Okay, so it's showing about a little under 20 pounds of oil pressure. RPMs are about 500, which are a little low. Later, we'll pump some wire through it when we're on the lake, and uh, the oil pressure should go back up to 40 because uh, we haven't changed anything but the sending unit. It shouldn't be a problem with oil pressure because we had the oil pressure test kit on there and we were getting 40 pounds. Okay, so we have a uh, sinew installed for our oil pressure, and we have a fuel filter, so we can now filter the fuel that's going into the carburetor, so hopefully we have less trouble in the future. And uh, in hope anyways. <laughs> that's what we hope. And it's no getting more problems. It's getting a little chilly in Florida, so we hope to take the boat out a few more times this season. Yeah. Last two weekends we've been trying to do it and it's just been pouring rain, so... It's not really, no, it's not chilly, it's pouring rain. You literally cannot even leave your house, it's, you know... Yeah, it's still been, you know, it's in the uh, 80s, so the low 80s. Sometimes it's in the high 70s, so... But we got lots of projects coming. We do. With the boat and a few other things, if you watch our channel, you'll know some of the other things that we do. So, yeah, stay tuned. It's going to be pretty cool. And uh, we also have recipes coming out every week. So check them out at ChrisDoesWhat.com or DiningInWithDanielle.com. DiningInWithDanielle.com takes you to the yummy goodness. So, right. all the good food. And our shop. We have our shop, our shop. now. It's open now, and um, you won't stay find tuned. this. You find this. But stay tuned for um, holiday gear. Oh yeah, that is really it's cool. Pretty cool. So, you know, we've had some uh, people see uh, sneak peeks of that, and they right, really like it. Right by accident. Yes. And they and tried to buy it, and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's not available yet. No, it's not. <laughs> and. Uh, we're going to uh, call it a night, have some sunset lemonades. I guess that's the thing now. We already been asked about what sunset lemonades are. It's mm -hmm. uh, liquor and uh, lemon juice. Yeah, and, and water. water. No sugar or anything like that. No. So, no. yeah, we're going to have our sunset lemonades. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. It's down there. Looks like this. And y'all please take care.